what's up y'all so i got a clip for y'all it's cat williams and he's saying a lot of things again about the industry so i need y'all to watch this clip that i'm about to show and uh, listen carefully to everything that he says because he's dropping a lot of gems he's talking about being blackball and all that so make sure to listen to this clip right to the people that he was talking to right he was not making a culinary statement I don't have time mm. to eat because you're not advanced as a civilization enough to know that if you didn't cook this thoroughly, you are all going to get salmonella poisoning and everyone's going to die that eats this undercooked pork. So now mm. God can give you the lesson that you're all going to know 5,000 years later. He just tells you, hey, don't eat that. Oh, but it smells good. It's great. Don't eat it. And because they didn't, they were able to preserve their society when others were dying. It, it's just that simple. Mm. That, that was the best of the do not eat pork. Yeah. And, and so, so once and you so understand, that. what's more troublesome is we want to believe that this personal guy, this guy we're looking at, this guy talks to God, but we don't believe he ain't cheating on the first lady. Like, make it make sense. You don't believe he talking to his wife. You don't believe that communication is 100, but you believe God is channeling through him. What has he said that made you believe that? We demand evidence mm. for so much, but we allow things that are so important to be swept under the rug. So paying teachers don't matter. So now everybody in the whole country make more than the teachers and we know it and we don't change it and we cool with it and we still putting our babies in. A pandemic had to come for us to see we teachers. Now we see what the teacher was talking about for him. He do talk too much, just like she said. They told us that the lottery system was for them and people been winning $500 million since we can remember. We don't remember nobody's school getting upgraded, not one time, nowhere in the country. But these are the type of conversations Cat Williams has uh, in his projects. And, um, you know, it takes it. Yo, Joey Crack to bring man, it you out. The fucking best, man. Hey. All that shit. I used to run to that shit, man. Be something you not, you know what I'm saying? People in our demographic weren't supposed to make it to 25. So, you know, based upon that, we already, I'm on my second, third life already. You know what I mean? By those standards. That is a and fact. The whole thing is, um, <laughs> I was 35 on Wildin' Out. Let that sink in. Underdig, I came in it when I came <laughs> in it. Everybody was already famous, but I had seen so many great examples that I knew what it could be you know what I mean so back to your initial question like who was inspiring me I was inspired by Con I was watching the life of Brian I thought Barney Fife was a comedian I, I I was watching things that made me laugh I I appreciated the genre and I didn't have filter on what the funny was so it was it was um, everything that came down that lane because I, I, that was the lane I was going to be performing. And I was just fortunate that God made this way for me. And, um, you know, Yo, Kat, they say you, you can't, ever, but you God met, give you. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me ask you something. Have you ever met, yeah. uh, rest in peace, DMX? And what was he like to you when you, uh, how, how inspirational was his music to you in your career and just life? Well, um, I always had um, a whole relationship with music itself. So um, as somebody who had left home early when you had a Walkman, I, I um, was married to the fact that I could put those headphones on and be somewhere other than where I actually was. And music has been that my whole life. I, um, I met Prince when I was 12 years old and continued to know him all through my life. So musically, I was always on different things than most people. I was listening to 
Pearl Jam and LL Cool J. I was, I was, I thought Rakim was the greatest rapper that could have ever uh, been created just because I have been following. I thought that he had presented something that couldn't even be topped by himself. And maybe even that was right, but that what was presented in hip hop at that time was so pure and so the only voice you weren't hearing and hip hop gave you that from everybody's vantage point. And we watched it go from when the rapper was the softest dude in the club to where now the rapper got his own bodies. You follow what I'm saying? And the evolution of that <laughs> in hip hop just as real as how fun the ride has been. That's what people forget is um, real is not a filter. Full, full makeovers is not making over the part of themselves that is the issue. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. right. That's real shit. That's yeah. deep shit, though. But, but everything That's I know, shit, I owe that all to, to, to black women. You know what I mean? Black women are the the essence of of this creation, and that's why it endures. That's why it, That's why it's special at all, is because of that. So the black woman, so you're not, I could see Cat William with a white girl. No, no you couldn't, and you haven't ever. You should not. Ah! Ah! It's not because I, it's not because I can't, and it's not because, and because he ain't a patriot, right? You couldn't have been a Bucks no. fan this whole time just waiting on Brady. That's just evidence, his body of work. LeBron has been a champion everywhere he went. Now he went somewhere and became a champion. And the reason they hate on the man is because they taught us, you got to go through this college system and you got to learn the fundamentals for four years for free. And then you can go be rich. And yet the Kobe and the LeBron. Man, you got to let motherfucking pimp you and hopefully you don't break your fucking kneecap. While them you don't and have then if to. you break your kneecap and you become a martyr, they'll sell your jerseys for the end of fucking time and you won't make a dollar, huh? It works for who it works for, but everything's not always the answer all the time. At the time they were saying it, they weren't making millions and millions of dollars off of each jersey. Things change, and as they change financially, they have to change that in the rules to reflect the people. The teacher ain't coming in for free, and nor is the administrator. <laughs> How I accidentally get an injury, and now I can't learn nothing. But even in the in the high leagues, like the NFL, they don't have no problem with you getting CT and going out there and shooting uh, some people and losing your life. And they know you got a full fledged brain injury, and they know because they've been treating you the whole time and sat your loopy self on the bench and said, "Hey, you need to take some time off." And that's how you got in the strip club in the first place. And now, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. that's I don't CTE, even like you. That, that shit oh. real as fuck. Your brain is real as fuck. So any brain injury is real as fuck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you're no a basketball question. player. You know, my brother, we, my brother, my right say, hand man, he played football forever. But no, your body My don't work like that. Play, he played football. That's him freezing again. Nah, nah, that's not me. I mean, we both talking. I no. said, my brother, my right hand man, Rich, <laughs> he played football for like 15 years. Sometimes that nigga spaz to where I think he might want to do something to me or something. And I, <laughs> no, I swear to God, I'd be like, yo, bro, it's CTE. Like, you need. <laughs> You need to stop, cause Dude. you looking like you about to Dude. throw me out this moving car on the highway. Like you got the jail, B. No, but see, the brain don't operate like that. The brain has been hit, 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 hit. Defense, defense, own it, own it, own it, own it. And then now you saying, okay, that's over now. Turn that off. Your brain don't work like that. You don't have no real power. That's why you can't afford to play with things you can't fix. Mm. That is a and fact. Brain. That is a fact. You can't be counting that on the person that got my paid brother. if you okay. If you okay sometimes. That's all I'm saying. 
Shout out Jack Thriller, DJ Infamous is in this motherfucker. That's you know, we is. got a lot of legends in this motherfucker tonight. Yeah, you know, Jack. We over. We done went versus time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You really done taking advantage of me. Situation. No, no, no. Listen, oh, yo, Cat, I love you, my brother. That's yo, what it yo, is. Cat, I never... <laughs> he said we went over this time. <laughs> hey, yo, Cat. Hey, yo, Cat. I owe you a dinner, man. I owe you a fucking dinner. I obviously can't afford to get I'm a, anything I'm a else. Like I told Puffy, I don't let men take me out, sir. I'm good. <laughs> I'll do no dinner. <laughs> yo, Cat, I love you, brother. I thank you for everything. Thank you for Likewise. coming on the big, big show, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Definitely I love do. you, man. All right, so as you may know, Cat Williams did an interview with Shannon Sharp. He did expose a lot of comedians. And in this clip that I just show y'all, he's talking about the elite, the global elite, and he's saying that he was blackballed by other comedians, other celebs, and basically there's a small, neat group, and they control the Hollywood. And he said that they tried to blackball him, and uh, basically, he just went on his own, and he's still, as you can see, he's still successful till this day. Even though he's not a part of this group, he's a lead, he's still making money, and he's still successful. And I think this interview was really important for the culture, that he went against the elite, and that he went against all these comedians that uh, sold himself to basically the elite. So let me know what y'all think about this video. Peace.